All right, guys, so we're gonna install this dash cam today. I'm gonna be showing you how I'm gonna do it, and then we're gonna be using the lighter area. So this is the A19 V3 quad. Um, it has just the front camera, and it has like looping and GPS, so it could tell you how fast. Um, I've installed this in another car, and it seems like it works fine. Can do up to 2K. Uh, this is what I film my uh, my GoPro videos and all that. So 2K is like 256 by like 1440. So it's 4240p. So and I've noticed that 2K is pretty good when you're recording video videos. That way, when you're like recording. Um, and you need to zoom in or something, you have almost two times the zoom. Whereas 1080p, you zoom it once and it, you just lose it all from that bitrate. But this is really good stuff. You could even change it. But today we're just going to be installing it in my Miata. Um, what I'm planning to do is I'm going to probably try to put it behind the um, mirror, maybe like right here, a little bit lower, and then run the wire up in this trim. I believe I can take this part out. Um, I'm not too sure. I don't want to break anything because it feels like it's really in there. But if anything, we could just put it in this door gasket or put it through here. But I guess we'll see. <laughs> we'll find out how to do this, how to wire it. So I'll probably figure that out and see if this trim can come off and then I'll get started. So let me actually show you guys the device. Hope they don't drop it. So it's a pretty small device. Um, if you put it up to my rear view mirror, it's literally almost the size of the rear view mirror. And if I put it right here, you probably won't be able to see it. So that's like my plan. That's kind of where I want to have it. I don't want it like in the middle right here. I want it kind of like, kind of low key. So I'll put it a little bit higher up, a little bit behind the thing. But this is the camera. So I'm going to leave that right there. And then you get more stuff in this box too. You have a manual, which is good to read guys. Read the manual. Um, this is a static cling to the window. So you just put this on the window and this helps you be able to remove the adhesive, the 3M adhesive. Let's say if you want to just take it all out completely, uh, you basically just take it off. It's, it clings to the window and you're set. So make sure you guys use this piece. Don't 3M, don't use the 3M straight to your window glass because it's going to be a pain to remove. Um, leave that in this box. And then for your wiring, it's very simple. It's plug and play. Um, these are trim. These are for your wiring. You could just place this on the window, but I wouldn't, I probably won't need this. So I'll put it over here. You have a small charging cable. That's not the actual cable. And then you have um, a couple more 3M adhesive mounts. This is gonna be already on your uh, window. And then this one's the big part. You have two wires in here. You have the um, longer USB cable and then you also have an adapter uh, the adapter isn't like plugged in you have like a USB port and it offers you two ports but I'm gonna see if I could use this radio port thingy uh, this is an FM transmitter I'm trying to use if I can use this to power it but let's go ahead I kind of have an idea of how I want it to um, put it in and we'll I'll show you guys the steps so basically what I'm doing is since I know this is the general area I want to plug the camera in, I'm basically just kind of giving it some slack. I'll probably leave about this much room on the cable. That way um, it will fit. But I'm running it behind this window trim right here. And then I'm going to, I don't know if I could take this off without breaking it. So I'm going to try to just push it in through right here. And then I'm going to try to push it through this tab right here. I push it under through this side, come all the way down and then back under through the uh, glove compartment maybe, or under the glove compartment. All right, so I decided to go a different route. So it's still tucked from the top. All right, but now I had to take off the uh, mirror and the latch, and I basically pulled this part open and I put it all in this spot right here. And then basically now I'm just feeding it through the gasket. And I think that might be a little bit better but I'm gonna go ahead and finish it and I'll show you guys what I did. All right, so I got the wires in and then I just plugged it in just to double check. Uh, I formatted it so we don't need to record, but while I'm here, while I got you guys, all right, let me teach you guys the, the menu. So resolution, um, 1440 is good. Uh, I might do, I might actually do 60 FPS though, just just so there's more frames being captured. Uh, in terms of bit rate, 
think I think medium is fine. Loop recording. I'll do five minutes. So every five minutes, it's gonna save a clip. And uh, actually, three minutes is good, just because you want it to f save faster. Uh, MP4, good. Exposure, yep, keep it like that. HDR, I would do off. Parking mode, they recommend it off. Uh, parking mode timer, don't need that. Don't need that. Parking G sensor, I would do, I think they said to do it like low because it could turn on. Parking motion, I think that's all right. Time lapse recording, yeah, we don't need time lapse. Motion off, yep, because you don't want it to go off. GPS on, and I live in the state, so miles per hour. G sensor. Uh, I think they recommended this off, because this is just like how when the car moves, because it, it might drain your battery. So I'll leave that to low. I'll see how it does. Gate stamp GPS, and I'll do. We'll do speed. We don't need camera model, actually. Cord audio, you could change that. Screensaver, yep. Boot delay, nope. LED, date and time. So I think that's right. Nope, that's not right. It is January 1st. Sorry, I cut off. Uh, yeah, it's like five something. So let's, is it, yeah, so. The five would be eighteen. Oh four. Time zone. Yeah, I think that's right. GMT zero. That's for GMT eight. Uh, all right. Beep sound. Frequency. Sixty hertz. I see where the hertz is cool. All right, and nope. We we're gonna format it one more time all right uh, resolution and then there might be an update for this so i might have to go in and update it but yeah that's pretty much it for the settings that's all really all you need all right so i kind of lost a little bit of sunlight but basically this is the finished results so it is on the adhesive, I don't know if you can see it. You can barely see the adhesive, but that's the static clean. And then I push the, um, basically the, here, I can remove that and just push this in. So the dash cam is removable. You just slide up and to put it back on, you just go from the top and slide down and lock it in. Cool. And have a little bit. So it's, it's nice to have excess wire so your your you know cables aren't being stretched, but that's as perfect as I'm gonna get it. And it basically goes through this back here. And then it's follow right in this gasket. And it's all the way back here. It goes down this way. And through right there. Under, and then I tucked it under here. And voila. Pretty simple. Uh, so when I turn the key on, I'm not gonna start it. It should turn on unless I have to update it. <laughs> Let's try that again. So it turns off. Now we turn it on. There should be no delay, so it should turn on unless I did something wrong. There we go. So it does turn on automatically, as you see. And if you look at the this right here, it's recording. See that? On the top left is recording. So, yeah. Um, make sure that when you use your Volt port, that it, when you turn off the cart, it turns off the in this port too. Otherwise, you risk draining your battery. And extra precaution, you could always just rip this out. But that's pretty sick you know this is uh what it looks like and then i'll probably throw in a test video uh whenever i get a chance to so I'll probably add that right after this nice
nice, nice, nice. <laughs> to be like that sometimes. So, uh, for this dash cam part, it's about like 5.30. It's pretty dark, so I guess you can you can kind of tell by the quality right now um, compared to like earlier in the day. I uh, hope this is me talking normally with the radio off, so. Should be good. Let's see if you guys can see everything. Like the signs and license plate, maybe. Whatever you guys could read, like the license plate or 